What I want to do now is increase the readability of my document over here. Um, it looks pretty good, but it definitely has uh, a lot of room for improvement. What I'm going to do first is I want to change the line height, and that's basically the spacing between uh, the different lines of the text and increase that a bit. Now, line height refers to the top of the uh, first letter down to the next one. And in, let me just show you with a ruler what I'm talking about here. If we start with this W right here, now let me get it, zoom in even closer. What I'm referring to is the distance between the top of this W to the top of this V over here. So this little space over here, if we redefine a line height, that's exactly what we're talking about. And I'm going to do just that with um, the line height attribute. Now, obviously, I have a di couple of different places I could put it in. I could either put it in the body of the text, which is going to define it for everything, uh, including if I had uh, like a header that was two different lines, which in my situation, I don't have that. Uh, or I could define it specifically for a tag. And I think the most appropriate thing in, in my situation right now is to define it just for a, a specific tag, and that's the paragraph. So I'm going to start with the usual CSS syntax. P, because I'm targeting the paragraph text, and my two curly braces over there. And uh, the CSS name is line height. And what I'm going to define it is 1.4 ems. So uh, you consider that 1 em is about the size of uh, capital M. Um, it's going to be 1.4 times that height. So uh, here's what it looks like currently. And now when I refresh it, okay, as you can see, it kind of gave me a little more uh, breathing room, if you will, between um, between rows, which definitely, definitely makes it easier to read. Now, don't go too crazy because if you look at, let me go 1.8, if you look at that, all of a sudden, this is starting to remind me of a, like, a, like a high, when I was in high school and I used to write, uh, my, my papers, you know, you'd, you'd double space it and get a huge font so you didn't <laughs> have to you know you could you could put one one page of content into two pages to uh, meet the the uh, paper requirements well uh, those days are over so now I'm more concerned about making it look good with the content that I have so 1.4 is definitely uh, good in that regard the next thing I want to do is maybe give some of uh, well, I'm thinking of indenting. I kind of want to want to separate my headers from my paragraphs a certain way, and I'd like to indent. Now, you you may be thinking I'll use the indent tag. Well, the if there is an indent tag that would just indent the first um, the f the first line of your uh, of your content over here, but that's not what I'm looking to do. I'm actually looking to move all this over to the right a little bit. So, what I could do is just add more the uh, margins that I have. So if I go margin left, why don't I add 2 em to that? Let's see what that looks like. Okay, I like what it did. It kind of pushed that over to the right like that and now it kind of has a the vertical rhythm of the text. It sort of reinforces what's what, right? My header is more to the left and uh, the paragraph content is more to the right indented so I like the look of that um, I'm already seeing that I'd like a little more spacing between my h2s and and the paragraph text so again I could use margin I just have to target h2 so let me start a new declaration over here h2 and what I'm going to use instead is mar instead of margin left is margin top. And why don't I use let's see uh, 2.5 em? See how that works out for me. Okay. I think uh, 
I may maybe a little too much. Let's see if I do 2.2. Um, or how about just 1.8? Okay, I like that. So now I have each H2 kind of separates the paragraphs a little bit more. That looks pretty good. And now the last thing I want to do is kind of maybe move the whole thing down a little bit. So I have two options. I could either add mar uh, margin top to my H1, which if I do that, let's just go right here and go H1 margin top, and we'll say 2EM, which may be pretty big for um, pretty big spacing. Okay, that gives me, oh, actually I kind of like that. Um, that gives me the look I'm looking for, but at the same time I could also just add this attribute to my body. And you, you see it's the, the effect is slightly different because um, it doesn't really have two M's to calculate. Well, it does. Here's an important difference. In the body, it's going to be looking for the default uh, or whatever the font size for it is by default in the body. And that's why the value, you see how the distance changed. See, by default, the paragraph text or the body text is going to be 16 points. But H1 is a bit bigger than that by default. So that's why the 2EM, uh, actually, let me put the semicolon. That's why the 2EM has a different different uh, actual value, right? Because it's a relative value. So if I put it in the body, which is fine, there's no one way better than the other, just it's all dependent on the situation you're in. The 2EM for the body would work just fine, but you have to realize that it's not going to do exactly the same. It'd be closer to 4EM because when you put that margin top on the H1, it's four times the size of the H1, which now I don't recall exactly how big that is, but I think you you get the difference over here. Um, I'm thinking, you know what? I might as well get this code that I have for the H1 here, put it down in there, and I will define that top margin for my H1 right there instead of the body, and now with a little bit of uh, margin top and left as well as some line height I think I definitely increased the readability of my content.